Good morning, everyone. It is the next day and our last full day in California. And we are out here in the mountains looking for one of the main targets of the trip, the California mountain king snakes. We're going to be spending the rest of the day in this habitat going really hard, hoping to see one of these fairly elusive snakes. They're decently common, but they are very hard to actually find because like a lot of other king snakes, they're secretive. So yeah, we're going to be walking around on this habitat. Hopefully there will be plenty of other snakes to be seen, even if we don't get our target. And it's just a beautiful area to be hiking either way. So we're going to get to it and I will update you guys with how this goes. Sonata. Well, that didn't take long. One of the first good rocks I actually found to flip, and that right there is a California mountain king snake. One of the more strikingly beautiful snakes in the state of California, and uh, one of the last major groups of Lampropeltis in the U.S. that I hadn't actually had any experience with yet. And that was the main goal of this trip, and we started out the morning with this beautiful little snake today. Couldn't have asked for a better start. That is fantastic. So for obvious reasons, these snakes are one of the most sought after species in the, uh, the California region. And that's why this video is going up a lot later than the rest of my California videos, because it's very easy for these spots to become absolutely wrecked by herpers because the rock is pretty sensitive. And as you can see, this snake is beautiful. So there's a lot of people that would wanna take these guys home, but beautiful little snake. Hopefully we can find a couple of these guys today. We've only been out here like, what, 15 minutes maybe? And uh, there's the first one. So fantastic looking snake. We looked for these guys twice already on this trip and have failed. So it feels very good to get out here this morning and get one pretty quickly. So this habitat is absolutely beautiful. We're having a blast out here already and we've got the whole day ahead of us. So we're gonna get some quick shots of this guy, put him back under his rock and uh, see what else we can turn up. That is such a beautiful little snake. This guy is a... Uh, a juvenile. He's definitely far from fully grown. They get a lot bigger than that. I'd say maybe a year old, but like I said, I've never seen these guys before, so I don't really have too much of an idea yeah. of exactly how fast they grow. And frankly, compared to a lot of the other snakes on this channel, I don't know too much about these guys either. We're just going to let this guy go. He's doing a swiggity swooty. <laughs> That's so awesome. What a beautiful little snake. All right, buddy, there's your rock. Go on. <laughs> he just doesn't do, oh, there he goes. He's thinking about it. Yeah, keep going, go on. There you go. Yeah, that's your home. Now return to it before some predator comes along and snatches you up. I want to hike one now. Yeah. It'd be cool, so cool to see those colors just sitting out in the open. Mm -hmm. What a beautiful little snake. There he goes. All right, let's go see what else we can turn up. Well, we've been at this for several more hours and uh, have not seen another snake. We've barely even seen lizards. And in reality, we haven't even found that many good looking rocks to flip. And I think that's been our issue. The rocks that are good are really good. There's just not a whole lot of them. So we're going to keep at it a little bit longer and then we might end up going to a slightly different area, which will hopefully have a little bit more rock that's actually flippable. As you can see, there's tons of rock. It's just not very accessible. It's all very heavy. Well, we did not see anything after the first mountain king snake. I was hoping we would, but we never did. And we're down in the low desert at this point. I'm not too un unhappy about that. I mean, one is better than none. And we had a great time out there today. So we're back down in the slow stuff now. My dad's over there. And we're getting ready to hike through this canyon. Hoping to see some lizards. Uh, but there's also plenty of snakes out here too. So hopefully we'll come across a couple of things. And I will let you guys know when we do. But we're going to road cruise for a little bit after this too. So worst case, we'll see some stuff on the road hopefully. So... 
Hello everyone, it's voiceover Noah once again coming to you because the uh, desert in California is very windy. And once again, we had that problem this night, but we were able to find some really cool frogs like this guy here. This is a California tree frog. And from what I understand, these guys were recently reclassified into Sudacris from Hyla. Uh, they really seem more like a tree frog to me. So it's really weird to see these guys and hear them calling and find out that they're actually considered a chorus frog, which is really interesting to me. They're all over this rock cut, and you can hear them calling in the background, too. Really cool. Yeah. All right, guys, here's our first snake of the night. This is a familiar face. This is the long-nosed snake. We see these guys all the time in West Texas and Arizona and uh, really all over the place in the Southwest. But really beautiful snakes, just something we see a lot of and one of the very few things we could cruise out here that wouldn't be a lifer for me. So we're not going to spend too much time with this guy, but a beautiful snake nonetheless. And uh, we're just happy to see stuff moving tonight because it's a little bit chilly. So quick photo session and then we're going to let him go. Very nice. That is a desert panda gecko, right? I don't know. I think there does a band of geckos here. I will double check that and label it correctly, but either way, that should be a lifer. Really nice. <laughs> I love me a banded gecko and whatever species this ends up being, I'm pretty sure there are desert band of geckos here, but I'm not positive. This guy's almost certainly a lifer for me. I'm gonna have to double check and make sure what's here, but really cool looking lizards. These guys are called eyelided geckos because most of the geckos in the world don't have eyelids. Most of the native ones here do. And uh, there's a couple of other popular euglepharids such as leopard geckos that also have eyelids. But really cool little lizard. I took a couple photos of him, so we're just gonna let him walk off into the desert. He just licked that bean. <laughs> Look at those eyes, so awesome. <laughs> All right, let's see what else is out. Punk potatoes. So, is that what the red spotted toads here look like, or am I crazy? Because that is a weird looking toad. And I'm gonna be kicking myself if this ends up not being a red spotted toad, but I'm pretty sure that's what that is. We see these guys all the time in West Texas too. In fact, they're probably the single most common herp. And this guy right here ended up being the last snake of the night. This is another desert glossy snake and the only adult we saw the entire trip. It ended up being a pretty slow night for snakes, but we did get our life for desert banded gecko and those really cool California tree frogs, which I was really stoked to see. But yeah, this glossy was the last snake of the night and the next day will end up being the last day of the trip. So I'm going to cut to that now. All right, everyone. Yesterday ended up being a little bit unproductive, uh, at least in the afternoon. The morning was fantastic. It was awesome to get to see that little Zonata. Uh, but we're back out the next day, but this time we have moved east into Arizona, and we are going to be searching for Mexican rosy boas tonight. A really cool species of rosy boa that lives here, pretty much only in this little corner of Arizona in the United States. And uh, in my opinion, they're one of the prettiest rosy boas. So I really hope we can get one tonight. We're gonna be mostly road cruising. Well, we're grabbing dinner real quick, and then we're going to hit the road and be cruising for these boas for the rest of the night. So, don't know what the bycatch situation is going to be like out here, uh, but hopefully there will... I know there's going to be a lot of other cool stuff that we're in range of. I just don't know how much of it will be moving tonight, so we're going to have to find out uh, when we get there. So. so, if my memory serves correctly, this is my first time herping in Arizona outside of the, uh, the monsoon season, so... It's typically a different cast of characters you see, um, and the, the, the places that are good herping this time of year are different than the places that are good herping in the monsoon season, so it's going to be interesting either way, but hopefully we'll see a few things. Look at these saguaros. Beautiful. And hopefully snaky. We're going to find out. Look at that. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, big guy? Well, that big centipede's the first thing we've seen since we started cruising, and it's about two hours after dark at this point, so... We found a snake! This guy is 
your classic Western Diamondback rattlesnake. We love them, we see them all the time, but I actually haven't seen too many in this part of Arizona, if any at all, so it's a new one for this area for me. And uh, my first day trucks of 2022. I'm sure there's gonna be plenty more to come once we uh, start spending more time out in the Southwest this summer, but very cool. Nice to actually see a snake crossing the road. Uh, but as you guys know, if you watch my videos from the Southwest, these guys are incredibly common. We're just gonna usher this guy across the road and keep moving, hoping for that boa. Pretty nice looking a truck. She's got a kind of interesting uh, striped nuchal there. A little bit different from what we normally see. Well guys, it has been a very long and uneventful road cruise until about right now. We just cruised this little guy. This is a beautiful baby speckled rattlesnake. Something that we were really hoping to see in this area, but we didn't really know if they were particularly common or, or what. But we cruised this guy, we thought he was a boa, got out. We're surprised it wasn't a boa, but uh, that's one of the next best things you could find out here, I would, I would think. A really beautiful little snake. You can tell he's got some cool blue coloration, some cool kind of pinkish hues in there too. Really variable, really awesome little rattlesnakes that I have not seen many of at all. This is actually only my second one, so I am completely happy about this. And uh, it seems like snakes are moving, so we're going to get some quick pictures and cruise a little bit more. It's getting kind of late though, so it looks like uh, our night might be winding down here shortly, but if we don't see anything else, that makes the night for sure. A beautiful little speckled rattlesnake here in uh, extreme southern central Arizona. Look at that. Very, very cool. These guys are pretty laid back for rattlesnakes. I've never really seen one get particularly angry, even though this is only my second one. But he gave us a little bit of a rattle, and uh, that's been about it so far. Really cool little snake. I'm gonna get some quick pictures and get back on the road. Look at this guy's eyebrows. He's got a little white spot on top of each eye. Really, really cool. For size reference, here he is next to my shoe. Probably a yearling if I had to guess. I'm not exactly sure how fast these guys grow, but he is quite small. Well, this little dude definitely made our night, and uh, it is getting fairly late, so we're going to take a couple quick photos of this guy. He's been sitting pretty well, and uh, he looks pretty good in this lighting, too. Absolutely beautiful little speckled rattlesnake here in southern Arizona. Possibly the last snake of the trip, unless we see something on the road uh, after this, but really good looking snake, and if we're only going to find one target snake tonight, might as well be this guy. Really great way to end the trip if we don't see anything else. But we've got a nice drive back to the hotel. So it's possible we'll see some stuff on that road too. But we're going to get back to it. Let this guy go. And uh, hopefully there will be some more snakes coming. Oh, hello. What's up, dudes? He's got black on his tongue. He does too. <laughs> Who knows?